historic downpour sending LA's homeless population some 75,000 people in the county scrambling searching for shelter and safety well the Los Angeles Dream Center provides resources and support to those affected by homelessness year-round but as the rains fall they've taken in and helped well over more than 100 people pastor Matthew Barnett is the co-founder of LA Dream Center he's here live with more great to see you oh, thank we you, love you. Marla. we thank love you. what you Good do you. Um, so talk to us about what this last few days have been like you know during the last storm um, I was driving around there during the major storm and I thought to myself how in the world can people live through something like this and I, I just told myself, I said, the next time we have a storm, we are going to open up every square inch of that building to help people who are in need. I didn't realize this next storm would come that fast, you know, yeah, and uh, two days later. you get what you wish for, right? But, um, <laughs> but really, it was kind of a call. It was a call in my heart to be able to help people. And we got so many college kids that live in our building, you know, who are going out serving, taking a gap year. And they just said, you know what, we'll go find them. Let's go find people and help them. And I saw guys who graduated our recovery program out on the streets sitting with people, helping them, um, packing up their bags. And I just, I just sat back and wept as I saw the way that humanity just rose to the occasion. And, you know, I remember we had like seven or eight people. I'm like, this is great. And in a blink of an eye, we had 100. And uh, it was just something that was so overwhelming to us. But it was so beautiful to see people that, that were once in that same situation mm. be the very ones go out and rescue people and uh, make a difference out there. It was, it was very touching. And, and um, it's just one of those things I think that, you know, charities are going to have to be really nimble and fast nowadays. The need is going to be even more overwhelming. And to be willing to kind of have that gift of inconvenience mm -hmm. to step out of the box. And that's what we, we try to do. And here's a, a really a poignant photo here. Talk about this photo here that we're, our viewers are seeing at home. This is on Skid Row, right? Yeah, yeah. And this, this young man, he graduated through our recovery program. He himself knows what it's like to live on the streets and found this woman on the side of the road. She had nowhere to go and just pulled over the side, started talking to her and said, you want to come to the Dream Center? And then started packing her stuff up and brought her to the place. And, and uh, you know, for all the talk about this younger generation, what they're going through and, and all the social media and all that, there's, a, there's an army that's rising up of young people that just truly have a heart to serve and um, whose lives have been touched or going out and serving others. Yeah, we've profiled the Dream Center many times over the years. We've both been there to volunteer, but there's a lot of people that probably don't know what you do. So can you explain a little bit about what the Dream Center is and how it makes sense to do what you're doing with this? Yeah, yeah. Well, th this, this was in addition to the 600 plus people who live there every single day. We're coming off a drugs, alcohol, one-year recovery program. Nobody pays anything. Homeless families, homeless veterans, emancipated minors all live in that 24-hour hospital. I just celebrated my 30th anniversary. I started at 20. It took us about 25 years to remodel that old Queen of Angels hospital. But uh, we, we eventually got there, one little victory at a time. And, and now we're just a 24-7 place for anybody that's in need. And uh, we're just, just always there for people. Just on any hour of the day, we're ready to serve and ready to make a difference. Congratulations on your 30 years. Now, sort of the beauty of all this, too, is the long-term impact because you're seeing that you're bringing these people in from the rain, but then you have wraparound services like recovery programs, and that's helped, right? Yeah, that's what I'm so excited about. Like, um, some of the guys who are bringing people in, they're from our recovery program, and they're talking to people saying, yeah, I know what it's like to live on the streets, and I went through the recovery program, and..." We took in four people in the recovery program just like that, you know, who just want to take the next step. And that's what it's really all about, just about meeting people at whatever level they're at. If they need shelter, meet them at that level. If they want to go to the, the next round and they want to, you know, take a year to really better themselves, that, that's okay. That's what we want. But we'll meet people at every level. And um, families, women, so many women that we brought in during this time. Mm -hmm. And um, gave them a place to stay. And so that's what the Dream Center has always been about is find a need and fill it and find a hurt and heal it. Wow. And yeah. that's always been our heartbeat. That's not like these people are being thrown out after all this, right? There's an uh, oh, opportunity for them the to get more They can stay. Yep. Stay, yep. yep. Become yep. part of the Dream Center. Yep. All right, Pastor Matthew Barnett, thanks for the good work you do. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Still to come. The